Hey, so here's the video about voice recording. I think this is just the easiest way. Let's go to the Play Store. I like this one here. I've always used it and it has like hours of um, storage on it. So then, of course, you do all the permissions. And this button is showing you all the lists that will be created of the messages that you'll do. This is the record button. Hello, how are you? Stop, then you can do, you know, whatever title. And then see it, it, there was like a little button that it went there. They say, oh my God, Sometimes there's an ad and you just have to wait. No thanks. So anyway there, see. It saves everything here. Now settings, I have never really messed with that, so I don't know. But you can obviously, you know, fiddle with it. And... This is a wonderful app because you can even voice record someone when you're on the phone with someone else. So like say you're taking a phone call and you're like me and you're like, oh, I don't want to forget what this person's talking about. You can, um, you know, say you, you took the call and you're on the phone with them. You can get out of there, go to voice recorder. Hit record while you're on the phone. That's one reason that I like that one. Um, and see, it saves it. No, I don't want to buy the professional version. And it's free. So anyway, um, in order to share it, I think it's easiest to have a Google Drive. So you have to have a Google email. And then there's this thing called Google Drive. I don't know if you've heard of it. Let's say save to drive, allow, then you can do whatever um, title you want. You'll have to probably do it again so you can find it in Google Drive. And then you'll have to do it on a Wi-Fi because sometimes Google Drive does not work unless um, you go to settings and backup and reset, backup settings for your device, backup to Google Drive automatically. There's, there's my Gmail account. And where's the other one? Transfer files only over Wi Fi. That's good to have. Um, if you have Wi-Fi at home now, I don't, so I always leave it off. You know, transfer files over mobile data may incur additional charges. Okay, I want to do that because I don't have Wi-Fi at my house. We're about to get it, though. So, anyway. Then. It'll show up here in a minute. You just have to refresh it every once in a while because it takes a minute to upload. You can go to recent. It's just taking a long time. <coughs> See, and then sometimes it'll say waiting for Wi-Fi. Even though I clicked it off in settings, it still does it on my phone because we don't have Wi-Fi. So I have to do reset in order for it to, you know, charge data on my phone because Google Drive doesn't want to charge you 
which is nice, but you know, I don't have Wi-Fi, so I always say, go ahead and do it. So then now it's probably going to upload. Yep. See, it's right there. And then you can go to the message. Hit record while you're on the phone. That's one reason that I hit record. Okay. It'll just keep going over and over. Then you go to share. Okay. So on this page is link sharing. You'll want to turn that on. So always make sure that's turned on. Otherwise, nobody can view the website that link that you're going to give them. Then you do copy link. And it's copied in your phone. And you can go to... Oh, where's his messaging? This is Justin's phone. <coughs> Hang on, buddy. I'm almost done. Okay, so say... You want to send a text message. To whomever. This is Facebook Messenger. But you can obviously send this in any text that you want. On your phone. And since it's already in your, in your saved. All you have to do is hit paste. And there it is. And there's the link to the church message that people will get in their text. They can click on the link and it takes them to the website that they will not be able to hear this part if you do not do the link sharing on. So sometimes it takes a while to load, but. Hit record while you're on the phone. That's one. So there you go. And it doesn't, um, once you upload it to Google Drive, if you are worried about storage, you can always go back to it and, um, delete, you know, delete. But it actually doesn't really take that much storage up from your phone. So there you go. God bless you. Thanks so much.